One of my photography mentors always says that you should be able to take great quality pictures no matter the equipment that you have. Hi everyone, I'm Jacqueline of Jacqueline Photography and this is from Beginner to Boutique. Over the next five weeks, we're going to be going over some of the fundamental things that we need to do in order to start a photography business. These are just short videos I'm putting together to help you get started on your photography business. So the first thing that we'll be talking about this week, you can probably guess, your camera. Now I know it might be a little intimidating when you're first starting to look. You don't really know where to start and the prices seem outrageous. But you can actually start fairly basic and keep it at a reasonable price and then work your way up as you continue into your career. I've been working with the Canon Rebel T6 for the last three and a half years and I would highly suggest it if you're looking for a low reasonable cost camera. It has great quality and has served its purpose beyond well for me. And it's a great starting place if you're looking to keep your budget pretty low. This is not a sponsored video and the links below are not affiliate links. But I will put links in the description on where you can find it on Amazon. They typically run between four to five hundred and fifty dollars for um, the combination, which includes a body, the camera body, and a lens, a kit lens. Um, it's a kit package, so they come together, and it's really great quality and a great place to start. I had used that kit lens and camera body for about two and a half to three years before I even bought another lens. So they're a really great place to start and a great price point in my opinion. Now, if you do have the money to spend on the equipment, I would highly suggest the 5D Mark IV from Canon. I'm also a Canon girl. I don't know anything about the other brands, and there are plenty of good ones out there. So if you like another brand or want to try with those, then absolutely do that. These are just my suggestions with Canon, which is what I've used. Now the lens that comes with this Canon Rebel T6 is the 18 to 55 millimeter 3.5 to 5.6 lens. It's a great zoom lens. It's got a pretty good range, the 18 to 55. It can serve multiple purposes, is really what I mean by that. Um, you can stand very close to your subject and take images, and you can also get at a fairly decent distance away. The only downfall that I have with this lens is that the f-stop is not very large. So 3.5 is not going to give you the blurry background very easily. You can, um, and I finally got pretty decent with it after using it for several years, um, but it, it takes a lot and you have to have your subject a really good distance from the background to get any blur. We'll go into what all that means. Um, I don't wanna be too confusing. But just know that you're not going to achieve a very good blurred background if that's the kind of look you're wanting to go for. You're not going to achieve it very well with this without a, a little bit more work behind it. But it is still a great lens and for a good place to start, I would definitely recommend this little package deal. You can get it right off of Amazon, have it shipped to you next day probably. Um, it's a great place to start. So if you can afford a little more, or maybe you just want to buy the camera body without the lens and buy another lens, I would highly suggest the 50 millimeter, at least the 1.8. They go down as low as 1.4, um, but if you get the 1.8, it will give you that really good creamy blurry background that a lot of photographers like to use in their work. So I know this may sound strange, but knowing what I know now, even if I could have afforded to get a better quality camera, a more expensive one, I think I still would start out with my Canon Rebel. And here's why. 
for me to be able to take good quality pictures, I really had to learn and work on my craft. Nothing about my lens or my camera was, I won't say doing it for me because the equipment does not do it for you. <clears throat> but everything I had to achieve, I really had to work at it and figure it out and learn that craft. Does that make sense? I don't know. Maybe that's crazy. But it really did make me learn my craft and learn my camera. One of my photography mentors always says that you should be able to take great quality pictures no matter the equipment that you have. And I really believe that and I'm glad that I stuck with the camera that I did for as long as I did. So I hope this little video helped. Again, if you're looking for a good starter camera for your photography business, I would highly suggest looking at the Canon Rebel series, um, either with the kit lens or a 50 millimeter 1.8. I suggest the 1.8 for beginners just because of the price point range. Um, it's a little more reasonable um, and a better place to start. That way you can save some money because it does start to add up quickly. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.